everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about ugh, roundworm in cats. I'm really scared of worms. They are um, my irrational fear. They will literally do nothing to me. I appreciate them because they grow, they make dirt healthy and able to grow things, but just keep them away from me. Um, my cat that is currently chewing on a toy has roundworms. I figured this would be a perfect time to film a video about roundworms since I have a sick kitty. Now, their scientific name, I'm going to butcher this, so don't judge me. Toxocara cati. Um, this, that's the ones that are just for cats. There's also Toxoscaris leonina for dogs and cats. I have butchered that. They're also known as ascarids. The disease it call, is called ascoriasis. They are three to six inches long, if you need a reference. This is three inches, and this is this six inches. These worms can be in your cat's stomach. Hey. Um, oh my god, that is just so gross. They, for people that know ant centimeters, they're eight to 15 centimeters long. So they, unlike other kinds of parasitic worms, these just swim around the stomach. They don't latch on. They're just loose. It's so gross. They're just loose floating around. They are the most common parasitical worm in cats. Um, they may cause illness and even death in kittens. Kittens are so vulnerable to anything. These worms crawling inside of them can cause a lot of damage. Most cats will get them. It's just a part of having cats. Most often as kittens though. Especially if you have an outdoor cat, your cat might get worms more often than an indoor cat. They're not normally harmful to adult cats unless there's a really large colony of them. <sighs> I can't stop picturing a stomach with just Worms. <laughs> Ew. Um, old cats are also more vulnerable than um, your regular, you know, adult kitty. Sorry, itchy. So what you have to look out for in um, a cat that you might suspect has worms. Mine, my little lemon that is currently sleeping, um, he vomited clear vomit like an hour after eating that's not really normal if you puke an hour after eating usually there's food and it was just clear and foamy and um, I saw a worm in his poop so they do come out in their poop and their vomit if there's a lot of them in their stomachs they're dead when they come out so what to look out for especially in kittens it's a lot easier to tell that your cat has worms when they're kittens they have a pot-bellied appearance they have abdomen, ab, abdominal, abdominal discomfort. They have bad appetite. They have uh, their coat of hair gets a bit more dull, and they vomit and diarrhea, and um, their poop can have worms in them, dead worms. They can look a little bit different, but you will see that it doesn't look like rope, and it's not stretchy like a hairband uh, or like a like a rubber band. So it looked kind of like a dark rubber band with a vein in it. And that's why I was like, ah, don't like the look of that. Um, and I tried to tug on it and it wasn't rubbery. No, now that I, now that I know that I just touched a worm, I had gloves on. Um, ooh, I'm li mm. So yes, they can puke them out and poop them out. They're dead though, don't be worried. They can look different, a little bit different, in different colors. I'm gonna put pictures up right now so you can kind of see what they look like. If you don't like that kind of stuff, don't look. So how is it <clears throat> how is it transmitted? Now there are a few ways that can be transmitted. The main way to kittens is transmammary. So the larvae is present in the mother's mammary glands and then when the kitten feeds, it gets transmitted through and passes in their stomach. There's also a peritonic host, which is a insect, a rat, 
a mouse, a rodent, those are all of the same things. An insect, a rodent, birds, these animals will eat the eggs, the larva will be present in their body, and then when they get eaten by a cat, the larva develops in them. They don't grow into worms inside of the peritonic host, they just stay larva. They stay as larva, and then once they get into the kitty, that's when they grow. Now, there's the very obvious way of eating another cat's poop. That's why, you know, pregnant women and children shouldn't handle the litter boxes, because it's dangerous. Um, but yes, if your cat ingests fecal matter from another animal that has um, worms, they can also get worms. So if you have another cat that has worms, keep, keep, keep your litter box clean. Like, always clean it to just make sure that your other cat doesn't necessarily get worms. Now, the way that it's diagnosed, it's actually pretty cool and pretty easy. Um, there's a small amount of poop mixed with a special solution, and then the eggs float at the top, and then you can take them up, put them on a slide, and then you can see them through the microscope. The life cycle of these worms is really interesting and disgusting. Um, so the cat ingests the worm, they make it all the way down in the gastrointestinal tract where they hatch, and then when once hatched, they migrate through the muscle, through liver, through your lung, as a larva. And then after a few weeks of just chilling in your body, traveling around, they uh, go back to your intestine to become an adult. They have, you know, traveled, they have seen the world, and now it's time to uh, grow roots. And they find a girlfriend, and they make babies, and then they die. And the babies, the hatch, and the larvae goes all around your body. Uh -huh. And it's so gross. But there's something even grosser that can happen during that migration process. In <laughs> some larvae will insist, so they will become enclosed inside of a cyst in a dormant state, so they'll stay in, as larva inside of the cyst and then in female cats it can come out when pregnant and pass it along to the kittens across the placenta or the milk. It makes me so uncomfortable. Hey. I don't think you guys can see but I have goosebumps. <laughs> uh, so the treatment for these worms, it's really easy and simple and quite, it's relatively cheap um, as it is something that happens pretty often. So it's super safe. It's simple. I actually have to give my worm, my, my worm, his cat. Yes, I have to give my cat his worms meds, his second round today. So the way that these meds work is it kills the worms, the f adult worms. It doesn't work on eggs or larvae. It only works on adult worms. So it's gonna kill these adult worms. They're gonna pass through the stool. Yes, there's a lot of them when it passes through the stool. Stool, stetanine. It's really gross. It won't kill the immature. Immature, why can't I speak? It won't kill the immature worms. So you have to do two to three treatments. Today is the second treatment for lemon. They are 14 days apart to give time for the undeveloped eggs to develop. And so I guess today, together, I'm gonna give lemon's second dose. Next, I'm gonna open that up and show you guys the medication really fast. All right, comes in just a little packaging like that, very simple. Yeah, I cut mine in half the last time I used it. I give it to him, so now I don't have to cut anything. I'm going to take a little pill pocket to make it a tasty, tasty treat. Wow, I'm really surprised that he's not coming around. Usually he's really excited. He's really sleepy. And then you just stick it in.
All right. What a beautiful face. Yes. Your beautiful face. Here you go. Oh, you don't want to show your beautiful face? Here, take your ticket. Good boy, you can't see him, but he took it. So now in a few hours, the worms are gonna start dying. And then I'm gonna pick it, them all up in his litter box later. It's gonna be really gross. Want a treat? Good boy. All right, so now that you saw <clears throat> how easy it is to give them their meds, pill pockets are a lifesaver. Um, the way to prevent these worms, can, one, whenever you get a kitten, if you find a kitten outside, deworm your kittens. It's always super important to make sure that your vet has dewormed your kittens. The second thing is to keep your litter box clean. Now, my litter box, I'm going to do a whole video on my litter box because it's really cool, I find. Keeping your litter box clean is super important, especially if you know that your cat has worms because they can... Um, <laughs> in um, the poop, the worms can live a really long time. They can live for ages outside of the body. Um, so really cleaning your litter box after the treatment is over. Bleaching your litter box with a, a diluted bleach and water solution to make sure everything is clean and killed and there's no worms that can, you know, Hatch again. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> um, if you have in um, outdoor cats, well, getting them um, regular dewormers or bringing them regularly to the vet to get their fecal samples twice a year. Check in your local area when it's the best to get your cat dewormed. Um, but if you do have an outdoor cat, you will want to do regular checks every year to see if your cat might have worms because they can just pick them up from the birds, the rodents, the, the cockroaches around. Obviously, keeping your cat an indoor cat is going to prevent a lot of that. But even then, if you have rodent problems in your house or if you have lots of cockroaches, they can still get it if they're peritonic hosts. So keeping the population of bugs and rodents at the minimum in your home is really going to help as well. Now there are some heartworm preventative products that exist out here that also have medication for roundworms that are just going to help prevent them or kill whatever is in them. So talk to your vet, see if there's any foods that you can get that has that added. Um, <clears throat> but really routine treatment if you have an outdoor cat, um, get the fecal samples to your vet it's simple and the treatments are relatively um, cheap and super easy and safe to give to your pet. The most disgusting part about having roundworms is they come out dead and they're really long, but it's, it's a dealable issue. It's easily spotted, it's easily fixed. But there's a little um, scary, scary. It can be transmitted to humans. So if you're not careful and you accidentally somehow ingest your cat's poop, well, you can have worms. So whenever you're done using the litter box, you, you don't personally use the litter box, but whenever you're done cleaning the litter box, wash your hands, keep the litter box clean, don't let kids Lay around in the litter box. Don't let pregnant women deal with a litter box. Just in general, especially if your cat has worms. Um, and yeah, just keep your area clean. Give them the dewormer they need and everything is going to be fine. Now that you know everything about roundworms, I hope you can tackle them appropriately. And, you know, don't let your irrational fears of worms stop you from taking care of your cat because I really didn't want to pick up the litter and the wormy poop. All right, well, that's everything there is to know about roundworms. It was a very disgusting video to film. <laughs> I'm going to go have nightmares now. I hope you guys learned something new today. And if you could please go check out my I want to start a 
neonatal kitten rescue video. That'd be amazing if you could share this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!